Is that? The Dipsy is the oldest cross-country race in the United States. It was started in 1905. It's a challenging course in the fact that it starts in downtown Mill Valley, which is an easy start. And then uh, the first thing the runners challenge with three flights of stairs that total 676 stairs. <laughs> and then uh, you're up and down Mount Tamalpais. That's obviously a mountain trail. In some places it's very narrow, treacherous, and there's cliffs that drop off the edge. So it's, it's an extreme challenge. There's people from all walks of life, all ages, you know, from the youngest runner was an eight-year-old this year, and the oldest was Jack Kirk. How old are you, Jack? 94. 94 years old. A young 94. How, how old do you feel? 94. <laughs> <laughs> and, a, and a half. <laughs> Jack Kirk is a remarkable man. This was his 66th consecutive appearance. It's a world record. We're going to submit that to the Guinness Book of Records. I like to run. Way to go, Jack. I don't push myself. Nobody says I have to run fast. All I have to do is I have to run. And I've kept a record of all the miles I've run, every mile I've run since I got out of high school. And where I ran it, and a lot of it, the timing to run it. And it figured out, this was about 20 years ago, I figured out to 75,000 miles. Hey, that's nothing. I must walk at least five times as much as I run. And if I run two miles a day, I said, that means I walk 10 miles. 40, 50 years, I figure out about uh, 450,000 miles on foot. And all my shoes are laying around the yard there. If you don't believe it, just go up and look at those hosts. These, these are ones that Bob gave me that warm in the dipsy. Jack's apparel, as individual as Jack is, he's the only one that you see shows up at the start line. He's got a long sleeve shirt, he's got long pants, and he wears boat shoes. One of the major shoe companies gave him a pair of shoes one year. He was offended and gave them back. Okay. Hey. To start in Mill Valley, run over, up to go up the 676 stairs over the mountain and wind up out of Stinson Beach is something that the uh, majority of people would never even consider, let alone somebody that's 94 years old. Good for you, Mr. Kirk. People are just in awe of the fact that somebody in their 90s can accomplish that feat. Good job. Oh, well, I just turned 65 and. I think, well, if Jack can do it, maybe I can too, if I stay healthy. And what keeps you young, Jack? Well, you got to have good ancestors. <laughs> That's the first requirement. He won the race twice when he was younger, and he was just as committed, cantankerous, and attacked the mountain. I guess it's more of his, his attitude. Uh, he thought that he could beat anybody, and uh, he certainly thought he could challenge the mountain at any time. In 1930, that was my first race. I finished second place. I beat these all these other guys that, that, that just passed coming down steep ravine. It was two thirds of the way down to the trench. And if you get in there, you can't pass anybody because it's just trench. I says, I got to beat those guys into the trench, or they're going to hold me up. And so I took off and beat them into the trench and left them up there. Afterwards, well, Neil Decker comedy says, the way that guy runs up there, he must be a demon. He's just an individual, and nothing's going to beat Jack. Everybody thinks I'm famous because I'm 94 years old and still running a dipsy, but that means mean anything. It takes me three hours to do it. I always got to say, and says that old, old runners never die that reach the 672nd step. <laughs> All these famous athletes, they get to a point where they can't function like they are when they were a little kid. See? When they retired, they were dead in three years. And the reason for that was their body was used to hard effort. Hard work never killed anybody. But worrying about how to get out of hard work will lay you in the grave before your time. <laughs> so what do you all think of Jack Kirk? Are you kidding? <laughs> Amazing. A lot of the runners that have been in this race, every, every year a lot of them seek him out as kind of like a good luck charm. They go and they check him out, they go, oh yeah, he's here today, oh good, oh good. It's like, it's, just, it's part of the race, it's part of the tradition of the Dipsy, is to have him in the race. Jack is absolutely a folk legend. Uh, I think a lot of people show up every year just to see Jack show up and, and to uh, listen to him, to speak with him. People they keep asking me, what do you eat, what do you eat, what do you eat? It isn't what I eat, it's how I eat, because I don't have any stomach anymore. I got a big, big they took it out and threw it away, smoking, second hand. It kills me. Are you familiar with that, that book, the Human uh, Owner's Manual, called the Bible? In there it tells you what kind of meats are not good to eat at all. And them in there is a dead pig. 
And boy, to me, there's nothing smells better than bacon cooking and, and coffee boiling. And I don't use either one. <laughs> Strictly vegetarian since about 1934, but I do use milk. It's the uniqueness of Jack. I mean, he's, he's bright, he's intelligent, he's articulate, he's entertaining. He loves the adoration and the fans. I mean, he, everybody that's involved with the race is a fan of Jack. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? When he comes down this way, every single person that's over there will jump up and run to the fence. We should all have so many fans. <laughs> One of the most amazing things in all of American sports, Jack Kirk ran his first Dixie in 1930. He's never missed one since. This is 66 in a row. He's 94 years old. In the early 30s, he earned the nickname the Dipsy Demon. Let's hear it for him. That's not enough applause, guys. It's 66 consecutive Dipsy. Congratulations. <laughs> He's a very intelligent, sharp, witty man. It's as cantankerous as they come. It was harder than you told me. That's right. <laughs> That's correct also. <laughs> but everybody loves him, and uh, he's just an integral part of the Dipsy race. For him to come back and back every year is something that the whole crowd looks for. What keeps you young, Jack? Huh? What keeps you young? I don't forget to breathe. <laughs> <laughs>